the song about wanting to see his face. I just want to share something briefly with you about that. My wife looked at me because she knew. We're constantly seeking God to do something. So, and, and it's understandable because we have a lot of needs in life. So we're seeking his hands. But all we see of God is his goodness of what he can do for us. But when we seek his face, we find out the beauty of God. If you can ever understand the beauty of God, you'll know more about His hands, His feet, and His heart. Amen? So instead of seeking so much after what God can do for us, how about let's seek in His face who He is and find out the beauty of serving God. He is so good. He is so good. Thank you, Sister Ginger, for sharing that. God is so good. My goodness, it just takes me back. <laughs> takes me back to not long after I got saved. I was talking about it this morning, you know. God is so good. God is so good. And He proves Himself time and time again. Hallelujah. I haven't got another child eating ice cream or something <laughs> this evening, you know. <laughs> Even though that, that was so fitting for the missus this morning. Uh, you know, being hungry and thirsting for God and His righteousness. You know, he's, he's, such a, he's such a blessing. But I do have a tranquil place. You know, and, and we look at this, and, and some of you thinking about, man, I bet there's some catfish down there. <laughs> yeah, well, probably right up under those roots, you can, uh, what is it, noodling? You can just go down there and catch them by your arm. Yeah, uh huh. But, you know, uh, you, you think about sitting back. You know, in a little cleared off spot in the shade and just just feeling the breeze. Jesus. Feeling the breeze. Yeah. And just enjoying the peace. There's something about peace. Amen. You know, I see people all the time and, and I'm not a big beach person because, uh, I mean, you know, they, they'd probably grab me by the legs and the arms and throw me back in thinking I just kind of washed the shore. So I'm not a real big beach person, but I do love the mountains. I love to go up there and, and behold the beauty. And so we all have a peaceful place we want to go. Can I tell you, when life storms are so hard, <coughs> God's house is a beautiful place to be. Amen. It is. Because it brings me peace. Yes. Amen. I've been in some predicaments where I, I just felt like I was about to explode. And all I had to do was just walk through the doors. And I felt the peace of God take over. Amen. There's something about peace. Okay? Let's, let's get into this. John chapter 14 and verse 27. Jesus says this. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. Give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. So where do we find our peace from? We find it from Jesus. He's the one that gives us that peace. He's the one that, that, that all he has to do is speak peace to the storm. Speak peace to the waves. Speak peace to the wind. Amen. Speak peace to the torment. Speak peace to the hurt. Speak peace to the confusion. That's all he has to do. 
and just speak the word peace. Woo! There's nothing like that word peace. Peace is a valuable commodity. Amen. Amen. You can have wealth, but no peace. You can have health, but no peace. You can have beautiful looks, but no peace. You can have relationships, but no peace. You can have a great job, but no peace. You can have a great name, but no peace. You can have a good social status, but no peace. If there is no peace, there's no real joy, and there's no real happiness. Amen? If you have not got the peace of God in your heart, every time you laugh about something, it's for a brief moment. When it's over, there's no peace. There was no peace before, there'll be no peace afterwards. It's not unless you get peace from the one upstairs. Amen? That is the true peace that we can have. Yes, amen. Did I tell you that peace is a valuable commodity? Yes, amen. So you can have peace even if you only have a little bit of wealth or maybe a little bit of health or maybe mediocre looks. Hallelujah. I didn't get an amen on that one. Or a mediocre job. Or no relationship. Or no name. Or no social status. If you've got Jesus, you've got peace. If you've got peace, you've got joy. If you've got joy, you've got happiness. Amen? And you have life. Because if you do not have peace, you do not even feel like you have a life. Is anybody listening? Yeah. And the only place to get it is from God. It's from above. Jesus said in John 10 and 10, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He says, I am come that they may have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Yeah. Jesus is the only one that can give us that life. And he's the only one that can give us that peace. He said, I give you peace, but the world gives you trouble. Amen. Now I know why people become hermits. Come on. Because they're seeking for the world to give them peace, and it's not happening. Amen. So they just stay inside. They don't want to get out in the public. They don't want to get out around people. They don't want to answer their phone. They don't want to answer their text messages. They don't want to answer their emails. Why? Because they look for peace in the world. Yeah. Can I tell you something? If you ever find the peace of God, you can walk amongst anybody. Amen? On, you can on. walk amongst anybody and feel like you belong. Have you ever felt like you didn't belong? That's because there's no peace inside. Right, amen. You have no peace in your mind. You have no peace in your heart. It's just turmoil. You don't feel like you measure up. You don't feel like people love you. But if you can get peace, all that doesn't matter. Hallelujah. If you can get a little peace, amen, you can get some life about you. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Here is the key to prevailing peace right here. What I mean, what I mean by prevailing peace, triumphing peace. It comes in Isaiah 26 and 3. It says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace. Here it is, whose mind is is stayed on thee because he trusts in thee. Amen. Mm. Yes, that is where the problem is. It's right here. Is anybody looking? Is anybody hearing? It's right here. 
That's the reason you don't have peace. Is because of what you've got your mind on. If it's gloom, doom, and despair. If it's woe is me. Hey, you're going to have turmoil. You're going to have turmoil. But if you'll get your mind on Christ. The one that is the peace speaker. The one that is the peace maker. If you begin to trust in Him and get your mind on Him, all these other things. Amen. Hallelujah. When, when junk gets started, you're like, I, I got too much peace to worry about that. Amen. You, just, you just go right ahead with all your turmoil. You just go ahead with your mess, you know. I, I, I've got the peace. I'm not talking about a, a manufactured or pretend peace. I'm talking about something real here. And it only comes from God. And you know, you know beyond a shadow of doubt what it is. Whether it's from Jesus or whether it's something you just conjured up in your mind. Say, well, I'm just going to have peace. I don't care what anybody else does. Let me tell you something. You will not have peace until you get a hold of the Master and He gives you peace. You hear it? I've tried to do it. I've tried to, to think positive in my mind. I've tried to be positive. But it wasn't until I just surrendered it all to Jesus. And He gave me the true peace. And I knew I had the real thing. And I didn't have to conjure it up. I didn't have to tell anybody. It was there and it was working. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Get you some peace from Jesus. Hallelujah. He promised, He said, I'll give you peace. Amen. The closer you get to Him, the more you keep your eyes focused on Him, the more you have these thoughts of Him. I want to tell you something. You know You know how you can sit there and have these crazy thoughts get in your mind. And you just keep letting it roll. And before you know it, this thing is blown out of control. Especially when it's one person to another. Crazy. You understand what I'm saying? You think well, that person acted a certain way. You know, she, Sister Donna didn't laugh at my little short joke. So she got some issues with me. <laughs> I don't see how you can still laugh at them. <laughs> but anyway, she didn't laugh at my short joke. So there's a problem there. She's mad at me. She's mad at me. In fact, I wonder if she's going around telling everybody that she's mad at me. Uh -huh. Come on. Huh? Come on. I wonder if she's calling the state office and telling them that, that she's mad at me. I'm probably going to get a call from my state overseer. And he's going to have to say, listen, we're just going to put you in another church because you, you made a, a lady mad in your church. And, and I'm, I'm over there just freaked out, you know. I said, surely that can't happen. Surely it can. Surely she's not like that. And then the next service we come in and she's just laughing, jumping. Pastor, I'm going to show you something right here on Facebook. It's, it's a, 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 the police come up to you at the pulpit and said you was doing 45 Minutes in a 20 minute zone of preaching, and they want to see your license and, and ordination certificate. And I'm like, This woman ain't mad at me. And you know, I just I get frustrated at how our mind can take off with crazy things. Amen. But I, I'm telling you, sometimes when it does that, you just have to say, God, I don't know how she feels. I don't know what's going on in her thoughts, 
But God, I need some peace here, Lord. All I know to do is come to you because I do not need this torment. I haven't got time for it. I haven't got place for the devil. I'm tired of this junk. And I need you, Jesus. And I need your peace. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God will give us that peace. Amen. I said, you're laughing, sister. That's a good sign. <laughs> See, I thought she was mad at me at the first of the service. <laughs> Just joking with you, sister. <laughs> we need God's peace, church. He said he'd give it to us. He didn't say you had to do anything. But go to him. Isaiah. Go, go back to Isaiah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. I think when it started going, it wouldn't stop. <laughs> By the way, your sister's mad at you. Yeah, she was trying to say you would turn her microphone up. Uh, and, and probably when you get home, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> So you just sort of imagine what all she's got planned for you. <laughs> you see how easy that is? I mean, that's what the enemy does. Okay? Just, I mean, it's that was easy. He just, <laughs> God will keep you in perfect peace who's what? Mind. Mind is stayed on thee because he trusted thee. <laughs> Let's get our mind on Jesus and, and all this nitpicky stuff will dissolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's quit messing with it in our mind. And let's get our mind on Jesus and He will give us the peace that we need. Amen. 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 He will give it to us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I serve a, a God that's there for us 24-7. So how many of you, while you're in bed, you, you may sleep a little bit or you're trying to sleep and that mind begins to start churning? I've got two people that nodded their head. <laughs> you know, please, let's, let us sit down with you and find out why you don't have this problem. <laughs> Okay. Uh, uh, so, <laughs> and my wife wasn't one of them that nodded her head. And I know better than that. <laughs> but we lay in bed in, in, in our mind. That, that's what happened to me last night. I, I mean, my mind would not stop. Yeah, I've got one, okay? You know, just for those of you that, that wondered. But my mind would not stop. It just kept churning with things. And some things, it had, it was just crazy. There was no business in the enemy torment my mind like he was doing. He had no business there. I choose peace. Can I, can I just tell you one other part of it? If you've got peace, you'll be a peaceful person. Wow. Yeah. Let me go to this side. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you've got peace, you'll be a peaceful person. Amen. Amen. Let me get a little bit closer over here. <laughs> <laughs> I was really enjoying 
enjoying your message. I didn't want you to stop. And, you know, I really, I don't know, she's only told me that once or twice, you know, that she enjoyed the message. You know? <laughs> and so I told them, I said, I said, she finally enjoyed a message. <laughs> the rest of them, I don't know. <laughs> and, and she called me a scoundrel and walked off. <laughs> but she's got peace, hasn't she? You got peace. I've got peace with Let's, let's seek God. Let's keep our mind on Him. And when that enemy comes and tries to distract us and tries to, you know, get some junk going in our mind, let, let's, let's, let's seek peace. And let's be peaceful people. That's what it's all about. Be peaceful people. God loves us so much. Does anybody in here need special prayer? Anybody need special prayer?